the Falcons, in my opinion, are going to go 10-6. and six. Uh, They have a chance to challenge the Saints for their division. Um, but really, they just aren't as complete a team as the New Orleans Saints are. Um, their defense is full of question marks. They just have a lot of guys who are like, ah, I don't, eh, we, we don't really know. You're not proven the same way that people on the Saints are. The linebackers for the, car, the Falcons are not very good. Uh, the, the, the defensive backs are not very inspiring, or very confidence-inspiring if you're a Falcons fan. Um, even though I, do, I will acknowledge, I like the corner, Desmond Trufant, the young corner uh, with the Falcons. Uh, there's also a question, can the Falcons get pressure on opposing quarterbacks? They have a bunch of guys. I'm going to list, you know, Adrian Claiborne came over from the Patriots. They have, you know, he joins Vic Beasley and a former 2017 first-round pick, uh, Tack McKinley, a defensive t- and defensive tackle Grady Jarrett. But all these names are meaningless if they can't get pressure on the quarterback. They've been trying forever. They've really struggled with it. Um, that's kind of really going to determine how well the Falcons defense plays this year. Can they get pressure on the quarterback and alleviate some pressure off of their secondary, who, again, has a bunch of no-name guys and is not super talented? Now, in 2018, the Falcons were decimated by injuries. It was awful. I've never seen a team get destroyed the same way the Falcons did. And in spite of that, their quarterback, Matt Ryan, had a fantastic year. He had you know, 4,924 yards passing, 35 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, and a 69.4% completion percentage. And nobody noticed it because, again, the Falcons were chock full of injuries. They went 7-9, and nine, but Matt Ryan was just unreal and had quietly an incredible year. Um, you know, and This year, for the Falcons, they have a bunch of really good pass catchers, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, Muhammad Sanu. Uh, they have a tight end, Austin Hooper, who's fantastic. A solid running back, Devontae Freeman. But what's really intriguing to me is both a, a problem and a, a good thing for the Falcons uh, the Falcons had two first-round draft picks this year in the NFL draft, and they used both of them on offensive linemen. The 14th overall pick, they drafted guard Chris Lindstrom. With the 31st overall pick, they drafted tackle Caleb McGarry. It's believed that both of them are going to play. And while this is great, right, getting two first-round draft picks, two offensive linemen, building your offensive line for the future is fantastic, having young offensive linemen is also a bit of a liability and could cost them early in the year, especially when they play the Broncos, a team like that's gonna they're really I don't I think I'm pretty sure they play the Broncos this year. I might be totally wrong. Um, but when they play a team like the Broncos, who has a really good defensive line, they could really struggle because they've got young, inexperienced players all over their offensive line. Uh, now they do add to a group, and Jake Matthews is a left tackle for the Falcons. They have a really good center, Alex Mack. But the issue again is rookie offensive linemen are young and can get taken to task by old like when they play. The Saints, oh my gosh, I feel bad for Matt Ryan because these young Saint, these young linemen are probably just going to get blown up. And I, I like the move. They brought in two offensive That's what you have to do, right? You have to invest in your future with the offensive line. But playing rookie offensive linemen also has its disadvantages. And I think it's going to cost the Falcons a little bit. I think they're going to go 10-6 and six and get a wild card spot. But that's it. They're not gonna, they don't have enough depth to make a long playoff run. They're an okay, t- okay team. They're not great. Uh, But they have a really great quarterback, Matt Ryan, who deserves a lot more respect around the NFL.